Greetings, Vanderveer Park family. Good morning. If this is your first time worshiping with us, we want to say welcome. We're so glad to have you. If you're a returning worshiper, welcome home. It's always a pleasure to have you in our virtual space. We want to encourage you to go in the comment section and greet another member of the Vanderveer Park family or leave a message to let us know that you're watching this morning. If you haven't already done so, we want you to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Vanderveer Park UMC. That way, you will always remain connected and in the loop with all of the wonderful things happening here at Vanderveer Park UMC. We encourage you to share the stream, tag a friend, text, or call and let someone know that you're in worship this morning and that you would like for them to worship with you. We have an amazing service planned and we cannot wait to share it with you. We hope that the service is a blessing to you. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For his mercy endureth forever. His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Welcome to worship. This morning, O oh God, we give you thanks and praise for another day in the land of the living. We thank you indeed that last night was not our last night, but we are able to rise with the sun this morning and say thank you, God, for being good. Thank you, God, for hearing our call. Thank you, God, for being a good God. Thank you, God, for covering us. Now be with us in the midst of this worship experience. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He has given Jesus Christ His Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks. To the Holy One, give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us and now let the sick say I am whole let the bound say I am because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. On this morning, we just want to lift up a passage of scripture and we just want to talk for a little while coming from Psalms 116. Psalm 116. And it reads, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Because he inclined 
raised his heel to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snare of death encompassed me. The pang of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord, I pray, save my life. <laughs> Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord protects the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O oh my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I kept my faith even when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my consternation, everyone is a liar. What shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be on to God. Won't you just pray with me for the next moments as I attempt to speak on the topic, what shall I give? Father, in the name of Jesus, we come and we say thank you this morning. Thank you for being with us. God, be with us now in the midst of this worship experience as we start off our days giving you glory. Speak to our hearts, oh God, and remind us of what we have so easily forgotten. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Let every heart say, amen. This morning, church family, I want to just uplift this passage of scripture simply because as I look around and I began to sit and think about how far the Lord has brought me and all the Lord has done throughout the year 2020, when I began to reflect on the people that were here at the beginning of the year that are no longer here now, when I began to think about the prayers I've prayed and the answers I've received, when I began to think about the number of times I've turned down my plate seeking a word from the Lord and the Lord indeed gave me a word. He indeed deposited something into my spirit. I was brought to this passage of scripture that is known as a psalm of thanksgiving. And it is a psalm of thanksgiving for recovery from illness. Yeah, because when we think about how sick the world has been, how sick things have been around us, how we've been plagued with a pandemic. I want us to uplift the fact today that as David shares, they believe David is the psalm writer for this particular psalm. He starts it off by letting us know, I love the Lord. I wonder how many of us have taken time out in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our peculiar situations, in the midst of our own pandemic, personal and nationwide. All of us have a testimony that we are in the midst of something, but God is in the midst of it with us. And God, in, in this text, David says, I love the Lord. Yes, and I, like David, can say, I love the Lord, but he doesn't leave it there. He says, because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he inclined his ear to me. That's good news today for somebody. And you can testify with me and with David and say, I love the Lord because late in the midnight hour when I would cry out to God, he inclined his ear to me. Yeah, while others all over the world were crying out to him, he inclined his ear. He opened his ear and heard my voice. Yeah, I know sometimes we can be in the midst of 
our own stuff and we can't hear what's going on. We can't hear specific things that are being said or specific things that are going on but because we are living in a world full of chaos. But God tells us right here, we are reminded by David. He lets us know that for him, and I can say for me, that the Lord has heard my cry. I'm sure somebody under the sound of my voice can testify today and say that the Lord has heard your cry. So you can profess to the world today that you love him. You love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and all your being. And because you love the Lord, because he's inclined his ear to you, you want to live your life for him for the rest of your life. You can have 24 hours. You can have 24 years. However much longer the Lord would give you on this earth, our testimony today is that I love him and I will serve him. I will praise him for the rest of my life. I will call upon him because I know that when I call, he answers. Some of us call our friends. Some of us call our neighbors. Some of us call our, 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 uh, our pastor. Some of us call our boss. Some of us call the psychiatrist or the therapist. The reality is sometimes they can't answer our call. But isn't it good to know that the Lord our God, when everybody else is calling him, he still has time. He still has an ear to hear what we've got to say. The text goes on to talk about uh, in this time that David is writing this text that it was a time of great anguish, a great, uh, there was death all around. And yeah, we can testify to that fact too. But yet and still, he has a spirit of thanksgiving. He is offering up thanksgiving unto God. And he says that in that time, he's cried out to God and said, God, save my life. How many of us, as we look at the COVID numbers rising all around us day by day, every time you turn on the news, there are how many millions of death, there are how many thousands of people going by the wayside, passing away. But we, we, we that remain are the ones that can say, God, thank you for keeping me. Thank you for covering me. We didn't always wear our mask. We didn't always use hand sanitizer. Come on, tell the truth and shame the devil. You didn't always keep socially distant. You didn't always stay six feet apart. You didn't always not go to your friend's house, your booze house, your family member's house. But God saw fit to keep you. And that's something worth giving God thanks and praise for. Yes, but then the text goes on and says, for you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from stumbling. And so therefore, if he's able to deliver us from all these things, we offer up thanksgiving today because we know that he is indeed a man of his word and he is ordering our steps, that he is covering and keeping us, that he is wiping every tear from our eye. So while we are here in the land of the living, we will walk before the Lord and allow our lives, our bodies, our souls to be living sacrifices unto him. And we cannot get caught up in the naysayers. We can't get caught up and, and be in our own consternation and begin to say that everyone is a liar. Yes, 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 we're human. We're going to do it. But the real question here today is, found in verse number 12, what shall I return to the Lord for all his bounty to me? The truth be told, None of us deserve what we have. Have you sat and thought about how good God has been to you? This is the time to do it. Have you just sat and considered the fact that you have a roof over your head? Have you stopped and considered the fact that you have food on your table have you stopped and considered the fact that you don't just have clothes on your back, but you have at least 
two pairs of pants and two blouses and at least two skirts and two dresses. You have choices today. Have you ever stopped to think about the fact that, that there are some people that have no shoes? And then the story says that there's some that have no feet to use. We've got a lot to thank God for. We've got so much to thank him for. Some of us should be laying in our beds, uh, laying in our graves this morning. Some of us should be dead in our graves this morning, but the reality is the Lord kept that deaf angel away from you. Some of you can testify today that you've had cancer in your body. But today you can testify that you are NED, no evidence of disease. Somebody under the sound of my voice can testify to the fact that they were in a car accident this year and the Lord held back the deaf angel and you came out without a scratch. Or maybe you came out with a scratch, but today you can look back and say, Lord, thank you because I'm healed. Somebody under the sound of my voice is able to say, that truth be told, I didn't always dot every I. I didn't always cross every T. No, I'm not perfect. No, I don't have it all together. But the God I serve covers me. And because of that, my question is, what, what then shall you give? What then shall I render unto God? Well, I just want to close today with this little story, a little story that says uh, a sister girl, a sister preacher tells the story. She said one day she decided to take her younger cousin to breakfast and then they went out to breakfast and she bought that little cousin whatever she wanted and that little cousin was happy. And when the meal came, it was too much for this little girl to consume. It was just too much for her to eat. So, so she began to cut up her food into smaller pieces so that she might be able to eat and digest it. Are you with me? And after she had tasted what was before her, uh, uh, the sister girl said, uh, she asked if she could get a taste of what the little girl was eating. And she happily agreed and proceeded to give her the smallest morsel of the edge of the knife, the smallest piece of food that you could ever cut off to give somebody a taste. She cut off the smallest piece of food to give the person who had purchased the food for her a taste. Well, I don't want you all to look at her like she's crazy, but we are all often guilty of treating God the very same way. God has prepared a table before us to, for us to delight in him. And when we have favor and it becomes too overbearing, it becomes way too much for us to be able to handle, God allows us to delight at his table and he pays the cost of our, for our favor and he blesses us and he blesses us and God takes on the burden on our behalf so then he breaks it into smaller more digestible pieces of blessings so that we would not be so overwhelmed by all the things that he desires to give us by the price that he has paid for our lives but yet when God asks us for a little bit of what he's given to us we scrape together the smallest of things. We scrape together the leftover th things. The, we scrape up the things that don't really mean that much. What shall I give unto a God who's kept me all year long? Well, I would submit to you today that truly the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And all things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. So today, as you consider all that God has done, consider the fact that you don't need to give him the little scrapes and the little bit of your stuff, but give him your all, give him your worship, give him your praise, give him your thanksgiving, give him the glory today. And give him what he deserves. 
He deserves our all today, saints. So what shall I give? What shall I offer? What shall I render? I give God my all because I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and God has been good. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost, let the children of God say, Amen. On this Thanksgiving morning, this is a wonderful time for you to come and give your life to Christ. This is an absolutely wonderful time for you to come and give our God your all. After all, he's kept you. He's loved you. He's heard your cry. He's heard your call. Won't you heed his call today? If that's you, if you want to give your life to Christ today, we want you to just connect with us here at the Vanderveer Park United Methodist Church. You can go ahead and send us an email. You can call the church office. We would be more than glad to lead you into a pathway in which you might be able to have a closer walk with Christ. Won't you pray with me now? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for every life that was touched. We thank you, O oh God, for being good to us. Thank you, O oh God, for speaking to our hearts today and reminding us that we ought to always give you thanks, not for everything, but even in everything. God, we're grateful. We're grateful for who you are. Now touch each and every ear that has heard, touch every heart. In Jesus' name, amen. And now, it is now time for us to end our worship time together, church family. We thank and praise God for you starting your day with us here on this Thanksgiving morning. We just ask that you would keep in mind social distancing. We ask that you would keep in mind that we want to see you when this whole thing gets lifted. So make sure you are wise. Use wisdom, wear your mask, and wash your hands. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne. We give him thanks, we give him glory, we give him honor, and we give him praise. God bless you. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us in our virtual worship space. If you're looking for a church home, we would love to have you join our family. Please visit our website at Vanderveer Park umc.org and complete the I'm new here form with your contact information. Someone from our team will reach out to you. If you missed any of our announcements, please contact the church office. And finally, share this service to bless someone and to share the love of Christ with your family and friends. Until we meet again, be blessed.